Hello there. What's up everyone? Thank you all so much for coming back for another video. I appreciate you taking the time to do so. Today's video I'm going to be talking to you about what is a great calligraphy pen to buy and or which pen to buy. Fuck delete that first part what's up everyone thank you all so much for coming back for another video i appreciate you taking the time to do so my name is joseph Dooley. i'm a graphic designer and a self-taught calligrapher and if you haven't done so yet make sure to hit that subscribe button i appreciate all of you who have taken the time to do so and also i want to start this video off first with saying thank you so much for all the likes comments shares follow me on my other platforms that i'm on check out my website i mean the amount of growth that i have seen i appreciate all of you taking the time to do just that and help me out and help with the growth because to be honest sometimes youtube is not you know as easy as people make it out to be but anyways let's go ahead and get into the video all right today's video is going to be about which pen to buy for calligraphy and i'm going to talk to you about how i go about deciding which pen so i'm going to go through brush pens broad edge pens and even pilot fountain pen which that's one pen i forgot i gotta grab that and it is a tricky topic which quite a bit of people may not understand how to go about deciding which pen to buy for calligraphy and or why go about making the decisions that they do. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and change this camera angle. Now I'm looking down on my watch to make sure that I'm still recording and that everything is good. But let's go ahead and change this camera angle and get to the pins now. Now let's get started with brush pins. I just have quite a bit of different types from my stash. And before we continue on, I'm not being paid anything by any of these companies that make these pins. I'm just giving you my perspective and how I feel about them and why I made the decisions that I did. And we're gonna go from right to left. And so if you are not familiar with what actually a brush pen is, a brush pen is a marker that has a nib, hopefully you can see, you can see that, that is flexible and soft like a brush. You have a brush pen like this you see how this nib is and or you have a brush pen like this one which is even more so like an actual brush pen which these are more difficult to write with and require a bit more skill than the average brush pen and the way how I go about choosing brush pens I decide if it's one that I have used before, and if it is a different brand, the color, price, how they're built, and really just being open to trying new brush pens, as well as new brands. Because there are gonna be brands, as you see, more than others, that are gonna be used more frequently throughout calligraphy classes, people that you see online, et cetera, et cetera. And let's start with one of the most common, I said I was gonna go from left to right, but I wanna start off with a brush pen that you're gonna see often. I mean, this is a Tombow Furunosuke. And think about this brush pen, you see the nib here, how it is so tiny, and you could get really fine detail with your brush pen calligraphy and or you can go like that and get even more gritty so with brush pens do not be afraid to try new tools different colors 
because what I've learned, not every pin writes the exact same way. In this pen tail, oh no, this is not pen tail, this is Marvy coloring marker. If you see this nib here, look at how long it is and how flexible it is. Probably almost dried out, but we'll make do. And finding this brush pen, I just found it when I was out shopping. I think I got it discounted as well. I think these are more of a European brush pen because I don't see many people in the US using them that I follow online. But this brush pen, I love the body and how it's made. Also how, as you could see, the edges are just like an actual number two pencil. Also the ink flows very smooth. And to purchase these, just search online for them. Try to support shops that carry calligraphy supplies other than Amazon. And you see here what I had mentioned about the nib. As you can see with all of these others, it's not as heavy and as well as writing with it, you gotta be light-handed. So it's more or less like a real brush pen, like it says. This is like an actual brush pen as well, but the ink on this flows Remarkable. All right, I'm just going to speed up. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I fail so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by you. Pilot Parallel pen here, six millimeter. Let me make sure I didn't grab the one that's cracked. Yeah, this is the one I've had ever since I started. Hold on, I'm gonna grab that. it here, the Pilot Parallel pen, six millimeter. This one is, I believe like the second one I had bought, or maybe the third one. And these are for broad edge calligraphy, and you could use the edges to do like really, intricate flourishes. You could even draw with these. The cartridge based. I have a video about how to refill Pilot Parallel Pins for cheap. And this right here is my other six millimeter Pilot Parallel Pin. But as you see here, near the, whatever the hell the part of this pin is called, I got two pieces of tape because this is a modified Parallel Pin. And of course there's no ink in it. It's because I dip my parallel pens now and could do very scripty, not scripty, uh, beautiful broad edge work with the pen. And I grabbed the wrong automatic pen, but this one I could still show you has the one, two, three, five, like splits or whatever. I don't even know. I'm not even sure what those are called to be honest. These little five uh, little spokes here, but this one is cracked. I think it cracked when I received it, but I just was 
saying to myself, I'll make it work. I don't want to go through the hassle. Automatic pin, these right here are pricey. So I remember when I first purchased, this was like the first one I purchased to be exact. It was like $15, maybe. Yeah, I'd say at least 15. And now let me go ahead and do a demonstration for you. I'm actually going to switch this automatic pin out for the other one that I have that is not cracked. And we are back just like that. All right, now let's go ahead and get into it. First, I'm gonna show you the automatic pin. Once again, these are not for beginners. Start, if you wanna do broad edge, recommend start with pilot parallel pins. Just a basic, not a modified one. There we go. And let me empty out the nib. Because these two metal plates here creates like a reservoir and that's what holds the ink. And this pen, I definitely have to clean it. It's a little dirty. And then now let's get to the parallel pins. As I had mentioned before, I dip it in just to get the tip a little dirty not a little dirty <laughs> full of ink and then we start to write oh and before we continue on not work doing any actual hand I'm just making it up as I go just for demonstration purposes actually that may be one I don't remember what it is though all right there we go and that is for the broad edge pins and I'm going to show you two other pins fountain pins to be exact and my thoughts on them. Here is the Pilot Plumix or Plumex, however, however it is pronounced. This is a cartridge based fountain pen. Not even sure if it has ink in it. I haven't used it in so long. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'll dip it in the Echoline ink. This is watercolor ink, so it's not going to damage the pen. And for demonstration purposes. And if you get really into like, I'll just write my name. And it will definitely, oh, this paper is 20 pounds, so it's not really meant for this. So if you really want to get old school and get like a budget fountain pen, I'd say these are not too bad of a investment. And also, let me show you one thing that these could flex. I could really see these being used 
for like weddings and doing the invitations. Cause just look, and I mean, the overall build quality of this pen, I feel it's really solid and can get the job done. And let me get to last but not least, the, this is like my first, like literally first pen that I got once I started taking calligraphy seriously. I just know that I just know that it is a pilot fountain pen. I don't remember the model, nothing. I'm not even sure they make it anymore. But I'm not. Let me see if this one works. No, I don't really use fountain pens as you could see anymore. But the overall build quality of it is good. Just my whole thing with fountain pens is that you got to be careful about them leaking. but my God, it writes so beautiful, especially when it's nice and juicy, full of ink. There we go. So, to sum up this video, you, decide what pen works for you not anybody else all that these videos that you watch online of people talking about pens and reviewing them you make your own assumption and you decide what works out for you there's so many pens out there to try have fun with I mean, the opportunities are endless. Just have to say in regards to that, do not get so wrapped up in the brand name. Because to be honest, that's what happened to me. Tombow, uh, dual tip brush pens, used those for a good while. I didn't realize that they were not for me and the quality of them. And there's just the flow of the ink, too expensive and the you can just to sum it up you can get something better quality for less money all right now that will be the end of this video and i'll see you all till the next one please if you haven't done so yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as leave me a comment and give a thumbs up on this video let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one peace and love